Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Microsoft Office Learning. Today video is quite important because I'm going to discuss with you 20 advanced shortcuts in Microsoft Excel. The short keys which are very important and we should must know. So stay tuned, don't skip the video, I'm going to discuss with you. Very first shortcut key is filter. How can we apply filter on our data? First of all, select the data, the headings, and then press Ctrl Shift L. It will apply the filter on our data. If I want to remove the filter, again select the data, then press Ctrl Shift L so it will remove filter for me. Second one is paste special. For example, our numerical figure has the formula on its background, and I just want to paste the value without formula. So I will do, I will press Ctrl C and then shortcut key is Alt H V V. Now you can see the value has been pasted but formula has not been pasted. Third shortcut key is about the paste format. If I want to copy any format, for example, I like this currency format and if I want to copy this format, so I will press first Ctrl C. And then what I will press, I will press Alt E S T, press enter. Now you can see on this cell, this format has been pasted. If I type anything here, it will follow the same format. If I unspace the column, you can see it is, it is following the same format in this column. Next shortcut key is about the wrap text. For example, my text is going above, going beyond the cell. So if I want to wrap my text within the cell, so shortcut key is Alt SW. Now you can see this word long trouser has been wrapped up within that cell. If I press Ctrl Z, it will go back. Next is merge cell. If I want to merge some cells, so first select the cell. I want to merge these two cells. Select the cell and then press Alt H M C. So it will merge and center that text. Next one is alignment cell. If I want to align any text within the cell, so what I will do, if I want to centrally align them, so I will place the cursor in the cell and then press Alt H A C. So it will centrally align my text within that cell. Next one is delete cell. If I want to delete any cell, so select the cell and then press Ctrl minus, a window will pop up. It will asking me, do you want to shift cells up, shift cells left, entire row, entire column. If I want to move the shift cells up and press OK. Now you can see these cells have been deleted now. Okay, next shortcut key is number eight and it's a new line within the cell for example my text is in this cell if i want to write something else but in the new line within this cell so what i will do i will press alt enter a new line has been started so i can type anything which i want to type next shortcut key is the flash cell flash cell is a very important function of the microsoft excel in this data, for example, what I want, I want to write the at gmail.com after the each employee name, but I don't want to do the manual work. So what I will do, I will write the first name alex at gmail.com, enter, and then I will select all these cells, including first cell, and then press Ctrl E. Now you can see all the cells have followed the same format as I used in the very first cell. John at gmail.com, Roscal at gmail.com, Josh at gmail.com. So it follows the pattern, it follows the format which you use in the very first cell or very first or two cells. Next one is insert border. If I want to insert border on my data, so what I will do, I will select my data and then press Alt H B A. So my this data has been bordered. Next one is select row. If I want to select any row, then place the cursor on the row and then press shift space. 
so it will select the entire row okay next shortcut key is add row if i want to add any row so first what i will do i will select the row with the shift space and then press ctrl plus so it will add the new row press ctrl z to go back next thing is delete row if i want to delete any row then first select the row with shift space and then press ctrl minus now you can see this row has been deleted ctrl z to go back next one is hide row if i want to hide any row then place the cursor in row and then press ctrl 9 so now you can see number third row ha has been hidden ctrl z to go back next shortcut key is row height if i want to change the row height then for example i want to change the row height of this cell and then i'll press the cursor in the row and then press alt h o h a window will pop up it's showing the current diameter so it's showing the current height if i want to change i want to keep it to the 15 press enter now you can see this row height has been squeezed press ctrl z to go back now let's ne next shortcut key is the select column if i want to select any column so i will place the cursor in column then press ctrl space now you can see this entire column has been selected now let's move on to the next shortcut key next shortcut key is add column if i want to add column somewhere so what i will do first i will select the column where i want to add up the column i will select the column with control space and then i will press control plus so now you can see a new column has been added just before the selected column control z to go back let's move on to the next shortcut Sh next shortcut key is the delete column if you want to delete any column then first you need to select the column if i want to delete this region column first i will select with control space and then press control minus now you can see this column has been deleted now control z to go back what is the next shortcut next shortcut key is for the hide column if i want to hide any column then place the cursor I will place the cursor in this column and then press Ctrl 0. Now you can see this column is hidden now. Ctrl Z to go back. Next shortcut key is about the column width. If I want to change the column width, so what I will do, I will place the cursor in the column for which I want to change its width, then press Alt H O w now it will show me the column width current width is 12.29 if i want to keep it the 10 press ok now you can see its width has been squeezed now so these were the 20 advanced shortcut in microsoft excel hit the like button if you like this video and leave the comment in below section if this video is helpful make sure to subscribe my channel if you want to watch more tips and tricks and more shortcut keys so i'll see you guys in next video